And the important part is to keep all of it public. Like, let's get the results out there that we have AERO, which is the Department of Defense entity that you may be familiar with that yep. is responsible for UAP within DOD. I would like NASA to do what NASA does best, which is to provide open and transparent information to be the kind of public mirror to AERO where any information that they gather is shared with the academic community, is shared with journalists, is shared with podcasters like yourself, so that we can continue to make progress relative to applying science to this issue. Because in the end, it's science and the scientific method that will unravel the mystery of UAP. Yeah, you said it best that what has really propelled science has been analysis of the anomalies, is those things that are outside of the box. I was always amazed at, at SETI, you know, where they're looking for these narrow band radio frequencies from deep space to try and prove life. And then we have, you know, hundreds and thousands, maybe, you know, hundreds of thousands of experiencer accounts that say, hey, look, there's actually non-human intelligence um, right here. You can interact with it. Um, and it seems like they just, they won't even look over there, you know, won't even consider other means that they could possibly be here on this planet. Yeah, it's interesting to me that the closer you get to Earth, the less people want to look for yeah. extraterrestrial life. <laughs> like, And again, I'm a recovering attorney, not a scientist, so don't take my word on anything scientific. 